Hello everyone, and due to the uh, very positive response uh, lately to my uh, latest video about Chivalry 2, The Sicilian Vespers, where I talk about how it's still a good experience to play in 2021, despite um, having ceased development about a decade ago, um, I figured I'll do some videos covering uh, the various custom campaigns. Uh, the various era campaigns, I should say, and uh, the first one of those is the Heirs of Charlemagne uh, era campaign, the Dark Age campaign, which starts in 888 AD. And of course, uh, this campaign, as well as the Renaissance campaign, were kind of in beta, uh, unfortunately, when the mod ceased development. Uh, however, that doesn't mean they're any less good than the other campaigns. It just has slightly less features. The factions are not quite as well developed. Um, but still a very fun campaign. And in the Dark Age campaign, let's go over all the factions here. So you've got uh, the Pechenegs uh, that the Byzantines have to deal with. Uh, you've got the Khazars, which is a, another cool faction. I don't... I don't think they're included in many uh, Medieval 2 mods, uh, or if they're included in any at all, but it's a very cool faction to see here, of course. Uh, you've got um, Metzhaik, which is the kingdom of uh, Armenia, the Bakritid Armenian kingdom. Uh, so, actually located in Armenia instead of Kilikia for once in one of these uh, Medieval era Total War campaigns. You've got uh, the Bulgarians, and the Bulgarians are quite powerful in uh, the Dark Age campaign, whereas in the later era campaign, they're not quite as strong. But here they are very strong. As you can see, they own the Balkans right now. Uh, you've got uh, Mo Great Moravia, which I believe it's included here, perhaps in the Great Conflicts. And then those are the only two mods where I've seen Great Moravia included as a major faction, which is very cool. Uh, you've got uh, Serbia, Principality of Serbia. Uh, you've got uh, the County of Barcelona. Very cool to see. You've got the Kingdom of Burgundy. Again, very cool to see. I don't think there are many other mods that have the Kingdom of Burgundy as a faction. Uh, you've got the we uh, Western uh, Kingdom of the Saxons. Uh, and you've got uh, the Western Franks. You've got the Eastern Franks, of course. Uh, this is called the Heirs of Charlemagne campaign, so of course you have the Heirs of Charlemagne. Uh, you've got the Kingdom of uh, Asturias. You've got the Republic of Venice. You've got the Principality of Beneventum which is kind of the uh, the kingdom of the kingdom of Sicily replacement in this era campaign. You've got the kingdom of Italy. Uh, North Italy right here. You've got the kingdom of Scotland. You've got the Byzantine Empire. Uh, you've got the Rus. You've got the Umayyads. You've got the Abbasids. You've got the Aghlabids. Denmark, uh, Kingdom of Navarre, uh, Poland, and uh, the Hungarians. Okay, of course, uh, uh, the uh, Chivalry 2 mod utilizes native names, so that uh, I enjoy it. Uh, a lot of people don't like it, but I enjoy that fact. Now, let's start a campaign here as perhaps the hmm, Moravians. Why not? And, or actually, let's do Bulgaria. Let's see how big it is. And I'll showcase the map here. Of course, spoiler alert for anybody who doesn't want to have the map spoiled for them. But additionally, during this load time, I wanted to do sort of a PSA announcement for everyone. So a lot of people have been commenting that the mod doesn't launch when they install it. And so the issue is that um, a lot of people don't have that kingdoms.exe with uh, the latest Steam version. So all you have to do, you just have to copy-paste 
uh, the medieval2.exe file, um, and then rename the new file uh, kingdoms.exe, and then the mod will launch normally. So hopefully that helps uh, everyone. I might do a separate video announcement just to um, help people with that issue because I actually was not able to pinpoint that until uh, someone mentioned it on the Discord. Again, link to the Discord uh, in the description below. So now we've loaded up the campaign here. And uh, of course, the buildings are pretty similar to the standard Chivalry 2 buildings. You have Incastellation, you've got, you know, the standard Town Watch, Militia, Land Clearance, uh, Brothel, Peasant Freeholds, uh, synagogue, the sort of standard assortment. It, just because it's it's the Dark Age, not much is built up at all, right? So in, in the capital, Tarnovo, you've got some stables, which gives you horse archers. You've got peasant archers, but not much else, right? You, This is the Dark Age campaign. You've got to build up. But at the start, of course, as the Bulgarians, you have uh, Boilars and uh, Bagaturs. So you've got some nice uh, cavalry, heavy cavalry, some cataphract-style cavalry, as well as uh, dismounted Bagatur uh, heavy infantry that are good against armor because they're axemen, and the uh, black sort of uh, peasant infantry. Again, good against armor, but they're not really line infantry. That You can see their stats are pretty low, especially on defense. Especially against arrows, they're very um, weak. Uh, but let's showcase the map here. Oh, and additionally, you've got the Hungarians right on your doorstep. Right, so the uh, Hungarians, they've got a bunch of horse archers, they've got a bunch of heavy infantry. And that's going to be tough for any player who wants to play as Bulgaria in the Dark Age campaign. So let's, uh, let me showcase the map. Spoiler alert for anyone. Uh, so. Up here in, uh, the British Isles. You've got, um, Ireland, all rebel provinces. If I'm not mistaken, there used to be a submod that added one of the, uh, Irish kingdoms here. And perhaps even Wales, but I don't. Um, I don't have that submod, and I believe the links are dead, unfortunately. But uh, you do have the Kingdom of Scotland at Inverness up north. Uh, you've got the Kingdom of Denmark controlling the Danelaw here. So most of central Britain is under Danish control. So Denmark is uh, pretty strong in this campaign. You've got three provinces on mainland Europe as well as a bunch of uh, Britain. And then you've got uh, the, the Saxon English kingdom, or the remnants of it, uh, which is very cool to see. There are not many Total War campaigns with um, a grand campaign situation where you have access to the uh, Saxon kingdom here. Um, and additionally, of course, you have the heirs of Charlemagne, of course, so you've got the Kingdom of Italy, you've got um, Kingdom of Burgundy, you've got the Western Franks and the Eastern Franks. And additionally, the Iberian Peninsula is very cool because you've got uh, the Umayyad Caliphate, of course, and you've got the Catalans here, so the County of Barcelona, because Aragon had not been founded yet, uh, and you've got Asturias here. Of course, some of the names have not been uh, replaced. So it says Castilla and Leon, but uh, it's actually um, Kingdom of Asturias. It shows it correctly on the map. Uh, and then the Kingdom of Navarre. So that's very cool to see a very different situation here in um, Iberia. I have to say Burgundy has one of the tougher starts because you start out with a decent number of units and you're surrounded by a bunch of major factions so I mean the best thing to do as the Burgundians oh and you don't have a navy 
So the best thing to do with them is to perhaps build a ship if you can and conquer some of these islands to improve your economy. But also you can try to rush uh, Torino and Genoa and Milan to at least build up your economic base. Uh, because Marseille and Dijon are not the most economically powerful provinces in the Dark Age campaign here. Additionally, you've got Greater Moravia, uh, like I mentioned before. Uh, very cool to see them here. And then, of course, uh, Bulgaria is quite large here. Um, but you've got the Hungarian horde here. Uh, the Hungarians do control uh, this province here in uh, north of the Crimea. Uh, but they've also got a couple of big stacks that look to uh, take over a bunch of this Bulgarian territory. And you can see the Byzantines, uh, they have a pretty strong starting situation. Of course, now is the time for you to fight these Bulgarians, take back the Balkan um, frontier for the Byzantine Empire. Um, but Asia Minor is pretty firmly under Byzantine control, and that, of course, really helps with the economy here. You've got uh, the Kingdom of uh, Armenia. Uh, actually, the Bakratids didn't control Amida here, if I'm not mistaken. So I would have liked to see a different uh, province split here in the uh, Dark Age era. I think Georgia, it would have been nice if uh, Georgia had Kutaisi here to kind of split uh, Georgia into two provinces. I would have chosen a city other than Amida, perhaps, perhaps um, Van, and then having the province of Vaspuragan would have been a nicer sort of province division here rather than having Amida. Um, Additionally, you've got the Abbasids, who are quite powerful here. They are the superpower in the east, uh, that's for sure. And you've al you also have the Aghlabids. And uh, the Aghlabids, uh, I don't believe they're included in a lot of uh, Total War campaigns here, but they control most of uh, Sicily, so including Syracuse and Palermo. So that's very cool. To see, so you've got the Byzantines holding on to uh, Messina, and uh, perhaps, I don't know, that leaves the Langobards here, the Principality of Beneventum, to try and uh, construct a nice kingdom of Sicily and southern Italy. And Corfu is still a rebel province here. Uh, additionally, you've also got the Khazars, who are quite powerful. They've got a lot of uh, units, that's for sure. Uh, a couple of nice, nicely sized armies, but only the province of Sarkel here. And additionally, you've got the Pechenegs and the Rus. And uh, that's pretty much uh, all of the factions here. You've also got Polk. Uh, and other than that, that's pretty much all the factions you've got here. I think there are a lot of very interesting uh, starting positions here, that's for sure. So, I mean, the, uh, the Abbasids, quite a large faction. The Byzantines are quite powerful here, so that could be a pretty large war between the Abbasids and the Byzantines. Uh, the Khazars look to be an interesting uh, faction, interesting start position. Uh, Bul the Bulgarians, they have a tough start because uh, your provinces are not very built up. And you've got giant Hungarian armies and the Byzantines to deal with. Serbia has a tough start, but at least you have some uh, rebel provinces near you. Uh, Sirmia, Zagreb, and Zara to take over before uh, you have to face off against a bigger power like the Franks or the Moravians. Uh, Italy, I think Principality of Beneventum, that's quite an interesting start position. Uh, that's for sure. I'd like to see someone uh, make something from this start position. That would be nice to see. Uh, the Burgundians, 
have an interesting start position. This is a tough one because you don't have any rebel provinces to expand to and you don't have a navy and you don't have a good economy and you don't have a large army. So you don't really have much of anything. And in Iberia, you've got Navarre and you've got County of uh, Barcelona, which are very interesting start positions. Navarre has a very small army. So good luck with that. I, I'd say your best bet is to... Um, either go against Asturias and unite the kind of northern Christian provinces, uh, or just from the beginning go up against uh, the Moors at Zaragoza. Um, additionally, you've got the Charlemagne heirs, and of course the Saxons. I think that could be a very interesting campaign as well. And uh, De Denmark as well, that's an interesting campaign too, because you've got some provinces on the mainland as well as in Britain. So you've got uh, two fronts right at the start. So that's pretty much everything I have to say about the Dark Age campaign in uh, Chivalry 2, uh, the Sicilian Vespers for Medieval 2 Total War. I think it's one of the more unique campaigns uh, in the mod. Of course, it is a beta point one release so there are a couple of issues but it's pretty much playable and stable and uh you've got a bunch of interesting factions including the langobards um the Khazars, uh early hungarians early bulgarians moravia the saxon kingdom navarre barcelona bakritid uh, armenia the pechenegs so I think uh, that is pretty much everything I have to say about this. If you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, including Medieval 2, Rome, Rome Remastered, Rome 2, Attila, Shogun 2, Empire, Napoleon, I've got videos about all of them. Consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more historical Total War content. And I'll see you in the next one.